Today we have a 2024 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Clutch. What's up homies? Today we got a very exciting video coming up. We are going to be comparing the Honda S2000 and the new ND3 Mazda Miata to the GR86. I found some people in the YouTube space here in Las Vegas and I think it's going to be a great video and a great comparison of the lightweight champs. We got Kevin Jabal of Jabal and Cars and Nate of On Sight. If you don't know them already, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and check them out. All right, guys, we're here. We got these three beautiful cars here. The ND3 Mazda, a Miata, and then the GR86, and then the S2000. It's going to be a really fun day today. Kevin's going to be reviewing all three of them. If you want to go watch his video, I'll link down this channel below. Yeah, we also have Nate here of On Site with his S2000. Guys, I'm super excited for this. I just want to say we got Honda Civic. We got a Toyota Corolla, we got a Mazda 3, <laughs> I think three cars that a lot of people sleep on, but we're going to give them a shot today. A Honda Civic, huh? Uh, just, just your regular old Honda Civic right there. Okay, I lied. We don't necessarily get to compare the ND3 Miata today in my video, but I get to check off my bucket list of riding in a Honda S2000. So while Kevin takes the Miata out, me and Nate get into some shenanigans with his Honda S2000 on some twisty roads. 20 year old tax. Still an amazing car nonetheless. Alright, you wanna, you wanna hear some VTEC goodness? Alright, let's hear some VTEC. VTEC boys. Clutch! Slow car fun right there, yeah. That's lightweight slow car fun. So I actually drive like a pussy on this road. So I'll try my best. I mean what it's okay. I don't do anything too crazy. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind safety. Carrying this. Oh, oh, oh. Damn that VTEC really kicks in hard in this car. Right at 6000 watch yeah. you can kinda of hear it. so visceral like the just the, the convertible uh, yeah, that, portion of it those. yeah your peripherals are uh -huh. just, like, flying by and you're, yeah like low you know low car already i like it it's like sick but i get bullied by hellcats <laughs> <laughs> yeah they do well, yeah, of all like, cars <laughs> yeah every time like a fucking, like scat pack or charger pulls up next to me they uh -huh. like just start revving out of nowhere i'm like oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then i just like freaking <laughs> zoom off yeah you're like Bullying a 200 horsepower car. Yeah, <laughs> it's not right. And I like it too much when you're cruising, and then like when you like full throttle it. Uh huh. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Like the induction noise. Yeah. Is there an exhaust on it? No. Not? No. This is this is good enough. Honestly, <laughs> I, I think this is good enough. I thought it was all hype. Like everyone like reviewing it, they're like, oh yeah, you don't need a fast car. You know, this is plenty of fun. I'm like, but, oh, watch out! This is the steep part. Yeah. You gotta. Yeah, I, 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 I f***ed that up really bad. I thought it was flat. <laughs> you went straight, you yeah. went straight for it. Yeah, because my seat was pretty low too, so I, like, I didn't really get the seat over. I was like, oh, they made it through, I can too. <laughs> Bow! Alright, I gotta let you drive my, uh, the... I never drove one before, actually, now I think about it. Really? I thought yeah. you, you reviewed one, or you had one in your video on your that YouTube channel. That was what? That was my friends. Yeah, you didn't drive it though? No. Oh, I thought you drove it. <laughs> no. I thought that was you driving. No. Was, I'm just like... Man, why does that get the most views? It's not even my car. <laughs> oh, damn it. I probably should have gotten the camera bag out of the car because now my battery's a little low. Oh, is it? Yeah, just a little bit. But it's okay. Well, I guess we can chill for a little bit. Was he the first owner? 
second. Second owner, okay. Yeah. And he bought it for the first time. And I was telling him how happy I am with what I have, and then randomly he just sends me yeah. an S2000 yeah, out of nowhere. Like, no, I'm not happy anymore. Now, <laughs> now I need it. <laughs> Bone stock S2000 for 21, you said 21,000? Wow, that guy that he bought it from doesn't believe in coilovers because it ruined. That's what makes it special to mm -hmm. here. Is he back already? No, that's a uh, infinity. Oh, he's probably gonna do a takeover. Infinities that are basically like Ultima drivers. Which yeah, is a little bit more money. A little bit more money and a little more like balls, I would say. <laughs> Actually, no, they have the same amount of balls. Yeah, no, Ultima drivers. I think they have bigger balls. Yes. To be they, 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 they care about their car a little bit. Are you sick of the Miata yet? Dude, they're all such great cars. Really? They're all so great in their own way. I can't wait to see this review. I wanna see what I you're that, man. I'm so excited. I think it'll perform really well. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of people should be cross shopping these. I feel right? like, yeah, everyone. Yeah. Everyone that's looking at this is probably considering this <laughs> and is also probably considering that. Right, right. <laughs> This clutch is nice. It took some getting used to, actually, for me. Um, I mean, granted, this is my first manual car. Uh huh. Uh, the clutch wasn't like, cause I was so used to driving manual Hondas. Oh yeah. It wasn't as linear as I like would would have liked it. I like, like this one better, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. You do. Compared to the the Hondas, cause I mean, not, I don't know, maybe cause it's like an older car. Mm -hmm. but with the uh, with the Honda. Or at least that one. There's right. So much like, so much travel. Like the first twenty percent is just like limp, uh, and then you start to feel the, you you feel the what is it pressure whatever. Gotcha. And that probably feels familiar with your STI STI shifter. I think so. This one. Yeah. This one feels better. Where's the red line? Oh, uh, seventy five. Oh, seventy five. Yeah, seventy five. Yes. Yeah. The shift indicator will beep oh, at nice. sixty five, just so it has like a little have a little bit of time. feels like um like when you want to drive it hard you know it'll adapt go well, obviously the, the, the it steering you. Yeah, yeah it rewards you i guess that's the blessing with the uh electronic steering racks is they tune it oh this is electronic yeah yeah it feels way better than the s2000 is you think so yeah no what? the s2000 i think that's like the biggest negative or drawback in that car uh -huh. is there e-pass or eps whatever e -pass uh -huh. unit it feels more numb, not numb, but like there's not much resistance basically when you're really pushing it hard on a turn. Oh, I thought, I, I, I would thought the... Uh, it would have the best steering. Yeah, because then it's, is it, I thought it was hydraulic. No. No, it's not? No. It's like, like early 2000s hydraulic technology, or EPS technology. Wow, okay. So that makes a world difference then. But it's not bad, it's not terrible. It's yeah. just not what you'd expect. You think they would probably be better off making it hydraulic then, huh? I think so. I think so. It's like it, it, it's, it's weird. Like everything else in that car is so like visceral, raw, mechanical feeling. Uh huh. And then the steering, it's just like electronic. I don't know. You probably stay in second gear the whole time here. You can, yeah, keep the rev range up, dude.
said, don't make me buy another car. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be like, if, if I become a big time YouTuber like, like you, then this will be my track toy for sure. Would you make this your track toy? Yeah. Cause, nah, dude, you don't want that as your track toy. No? McPherson strut front suspension, the engine, like you're gonna blow an engine on track. <laughs> you're gonna have a shit ton of understeer on track. This isn't like, I specifically got rid of this because I want a track toy. Oh really? That's why I'm getting this. You already got your track toy. No, 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 this is, this is trophy. Trophy? <laughs> this, is, this is the vintage. <laughs> this is the vintage trophy. What I'll do, I'll buy another one, I'll get the engine, put it in there. Dude, that was so <laughs> much fun. Thanks so much, guys. That was, yeah. what an experience. Like, Hopping back. getting these three on the same day, on the same road. Back to back, yeah. Oh my god. I definitely want to go back on that road. I want to just... Try it yourself? Yeah, just try, I want to try it myself. It's kind of funny, like, I was between these two, and, and the way I summarized it in my other video was that this is like, my brain tells me to get this, my heart tells me to get this. Yep. That's true. You know, a little bit, you know, way newer, safer, uh, warranty, better steering. And I know how much I love steering, so I'm like, oh, I should like this car more, but this one has the worst steering out of the three. Yeah. But it has the X Factor. Yeah. Yeah, objectively, this is a better car in almost all aspects, but that's what me and Sign were saying. It's like cars are all emotional fits. Like, you can't make any, you can't make too much sense out of them. Mostly, mostly emotional decisions. I mean, I want to say this is better in every way. This is the best well-rounded vehicle, though. Yeah. Because, like, mm. this one has a better engine transmission than this. Yeah. Uh, this one has better steering than that. Uh, this one has, I would say, stock. Like, if this actually was refreshed, better stock suspension than this, right? Mm. But really well-rounded vehicle. You can see that. That V-Tech is too good. <laughs> <laughs> just to reduce uh oversteer right but it can still kick out trail right. braking yeah yeah. Oh, yeah but then on corner exit you actually get more rotation mm. um okay. which is one of the issues that i had with the nd2 as well the ultima was it's, it's the ultima <laughs> it's, 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 i told you man you gotta it called one. it it's the ultima you gotta review one for <laughs> that guy that guy I have it on camera. He overtook, you know, we we're going the opposite way. He overtook, I had to get on the brakes to make sure. Yeah, in your, in your S2K, I was like, I had to get on the brakes to make sure he didn't hit me in my lane. Oh, oh wow. Like, Bruh, always an ultimate driver. <laughs> If you want to see the direct comparison with the ND3 Miata and see how it holds up against the other two cars, head over to Kevin's channel on Jabal and Cars. When it comes to the S2000, we all agree that it brings something we can't exactly explain, other than you just have to try it for yourself. But for me personally, I think I still choose the 8.6 every time.